morning, quilt roadies. Well, it's early in the morning. The sun is just barely coming up. Um, I'm still adjusting to that time change where it's dark early and it takes a while to get light. Oh, there's a really, my little sweet standard poodles walking for the early morning walk. I stopped and talked with that lady about where she got her poodle and um, she gave me all the information. I was shocked. Her standard poodle is so well behaved <laughs> and it was under two years old at the time I talked to her so I, I thought oh that's a good gene pool but no I am still not ready to uh, make that leap our lives are a little bit too busy right now and so you know you take each day as it comes don't you and you try to make it the best you can well, this last week, uh, G and I needed a, a break from reality, <laughs> and we took Penny and we went to the coast. Um, we went camping on the coast, and both of us just have to be amazed at whatever Penny provides us, this little, tight, sweet cocoon. We sleep the best in the van. We were meant to be van dwellers, I think. If we didn't all have so much stuff, I can't fit the beehive in the van. Um, but we got home yesterday, and at the, uh, after I'm finished my jibber-jabbering, there'll be a, vid a portion of this video that will have some pictures of the coast and a walkabout in Center Diamond, which is the quilt shop that is in Cannon Beach. Um, it's a lovely um, must-visit quilt shop. Um, just packed and naturally, naturally I found much to desire and want and a few things that had to come home with me. But when you're traveling in a van, you cannot go crazy. You can't go crazy. There's just no way. I mean, I suppose you could ship it, but then there would be no one here to receive it. Yeah, so there'll be a video of a walk around inside the shop, and they had a lot of new stuff, uh, new products. I put my name down on for something they ran out of. Yeah, <laughs> and it was busy. The shop was busy. Life has been busy, busy for us. Um, although we are retired, we still have, um, we do work for ourselves, and it's it's been kind of busy. And today I get to leave again and go to the Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit, which is a cross-stitch uh, summit that is sponsored by Acorns and Threads and I am looking forward to that break also. Um, it just turned out that everything kind of went boom, 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 boom. Um, and I, I have to marvel at the fact that how blessed I am in some ways to be living in this day and age where one doesn't have to stay by a landline, um, that business can be done on the road. And so we took our hotspot, our laptops, and we have our cell phones so we can continue on, although it can get kind of frustrating sometimes, but I really think it's so much better than having to stay at home by the phone. Uh, when there's so much to experience in the world. So in the van I took um, I took uh, a couple of cross stitch projects and I took my one wool stitching project. Um, this was not a long enough trip to try to figure out how to bring a sewing machine, which I have done in the past. But uh, hand stitching 
is perfect. And so I took my Heirloom Rose Urban uh, Block of the Month. And um, I felt i fallen in love with this project all over again. It kind of languished. It's from 2019. And it's kind of languished um, for a while. All the blocks are prepped. But um, only about four... Let's see how many... One, two, three, uh, three of the blocks had been stitched. And so I took it with me and I stitched the fourth block. And so here it is. Now I just want to encourage you again, no matter what wool project, you're working on, that I prepped all of the blocks at the same time back in 2019. And they have not changed one bit. All my fusible is still fused. All the SF-101 is still fused. And I believe that if you use the product my way, <laughs> it'll work. Because some of the fusible products tell you don't use steam. I steam from the front and I steam from the back. Once I've steamed it down from the front, I flip that block over and I steam from the back. So these blocks are wool on a flannel. It's a flannel. And flannel is pretty floppy. The wool is much thicker. And so to compensate for that and not have a lot of raveling along or stretching along my flannel, I back the whole thing in SF-101. And then I fuse my pieces down with soft fuse. And I get it on the roll um, because if you buy it, in big sheets on a big roll. Sometimes it's been exposed to air and it doesn't have the same stickum that it used to. So I just buy it in the individual rolls. And then I um, just like this, I have each block folded inside of its instruction. And there's the next block to stitch down, and it's all pristine and ready to go. So that's my that's what I love to do. That's what I love to do because I am on the road quite a bit, and it's just easier to take it with me. And I bought it in um, like kit form, so all of the threads are here in this box. The instructions are absolutely the best because um, primitive gatherings on their instructions they have um, told you exactly what thread number to use on what piece. Now naturally you can be creative. You, you don't have to do what anybody tells you but but I know that when I'm wool stitching, I want a no-brainer a lot of times. It's my break. It's my break. When I don't need a break wool stitching, I pick up a Seuss Bargo. Yes, and I love those. But this, uh, the instructions are absolutely the best on this. And so I had fun um, sitting on the beach and um, just stitching away. And I got one block completely done. So now I'm ready to work on the next one. And it has reignited, as we do sometimes with old old works in progress or UFOs, so that once we touch them again, it's all over. It starts all over again. And my love affair with this particular project is definitely... Um, and especially since this last week, I saw... Um, the larger version of this one completed by a girlfriend, and it was stunning, absolutely stunning. Well, when I went to um, the quilt shop in Cannon Beach, I had to shop around. 
naturally. It was very busy. Lots of people enjoying the great weather, walking around town, and um, I don't know what I do with my coffee. I must have left my coffee somewhere. Oh well. Uh, but I did pick up a few things. I, I picked up one of these um, eco-friendly kitchen cloths super absorbent. These are great in the van. And I, 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 I'm I, supposing that they'd be great at home too. But I picked up uh, specifically for for the van. And this is the Center Diamond. The Fabric Stalkers, um, you can stop the video and actually write this stuff down. Although I'll put a link in the drop down box. I bought a little panel for a friend of mine. It's all cats. Look at that. Isn't that funny? It says, I hear, I hear a can opener. I like this one. Nope. Not today. Not today. Yeah. Uh, and then I saw this other panel of words to live by and it I don't know what I'm going to do with it it's just um, <laughs> and I I wondered if I already had it but I don't know but it's just uh, you know there's pre-printed um, pre-printed sayings on this and I could make uh, little bags out of it um, yeah It'll be fun. It could be gifts. So, you know. Sometimes you see stuff and do we even have to have a reason? <laughs> I don't think so. But the piece de resistance that I um, purchased, oh, it was amazing. Now, Jen Kingwell is a friend. I consider her a friend of mine. She's a designer in Australia. We've hung out together and um, spent some quiet time together. I've also taken her classes. Uh, she came out with a book called Quilt Recipes. Now, if you're ever able to get to her neck of the woods in Australia, her shop also has a cafe attached to it. Doesn't every shop need coffee and sweets? I don't know about you, but I'm all about that. And so this book not only had patterns in it, but recipes. And this is what it looks like. Look at You know it's a fabulous book because it's shrink-wrapped. So there we go. So let's, let's, um, let's open it. Huh? And um, when I looked at the copy that they had opened, I knew immediately that I was going to need this because it was just, it was like a coffee table book. Like, you don't even have to make anything out of this or cook anything out of this. You could just have it on your coffee table and enjoy it. I mean, it, it, it is like one of those fabulous coffee table books. So the photography is spectacular. Um, there's quilt patterns in here. Um, oh, look at that. And recipes. This is a beautiful book. And one that you're going to want to order a copy of. The, the fun thing for me is that when I first met Jen, that uh, there was an immediate connection because I was, back in the day, was a labor and delivery nurse, and she was a midwife. 
I mean, look at her. Look at her. Um, so, this book is just eye candy. Even if you didn't make a quilt or bake a, oh, one recipe, it's just eye candy. And if you've ever um, enjoyed making one of her quilts, um, yeah, it's, it is an extreme delving into the world of color. And one of the best tips I learned from her was to take the selvage strip to a quilt shop when you're looking for fabric because of all the uh, the little colored dots that are on the selvage. It tells you what color dye was used in that fabric. So you could take that piece and shop for additional pieces. Yeah. I think everyone needs that book. Just for joy in the soul. So, thank you. Stay tuned. Upcoming is a video of Center Diamond in Cannon Beach, Oregon. And, yeah, some good times. Great weather. And now we're back here and a little bit overcast, but we're not complaining because it's not freaking hot, is it? Love you guys. Stay tuned. See you the next time around. That's where I am. Ooh, there's going to be some fun ahead. Come along.
not here. Okay, great. Thank you. I hear the oatmeal um, grain cookies are really Yeah. Good.